Hi, my name is Miss Helen and today we're going to look at telling the time. So let's look at some time facts. This is a clock face. The numbers around the clock face are the hours. These numbers are red on this clock. There are 12 hours marked on the clock. The lines around the edge are the minutes. These are purple on this clock. There are 60 minutes marked on the clock. This is because there are 60 minutes in one hour. The small hand points to the hour and the big hand points to the minutes. So let's take a look at both clock. When the big hand points to the 12, it is always going to be o'clock. Then we need to have a look at the small hand to work out the hour. So the time on this clock is 3 o'clock. We can see the big hand in the 12, so we know it's o'clock. And the hour hand, the small hand, was on the 3. So 3 o'clock. Let's have another go. So the big hand is on the 12, so we know it's o'clock. And the small hand is on the 5, therefore it is Five o'clock. Let's take one more look. The big hand is on the twelve, the small hand is on the eight, therefore it is eight o'clock. Right, we're going to move on and take a look at quarter past. When the big hand moved from the twelve to the three, it is quarter past the hour. This is because the big hand has moved quarter of the way around the face. So let's have a go. So, look at the big hand, it's on the three. We notice quarter hands. Now we need to look at the hour hand, the small hand. It is slightly past the 11. Okay? So we know it is quarter past 11. It's just slightly in front of that number. Let's have another go. So the big hand is on the three, so it's quarter past. Let's look at the hour hand. It's slightly in front of the one, so it is quarter past one. Let's take a look at half past. When the big hand moves from the 12 to the 6, it's halfway past the hour. This is because the big hand has moved half of the way around the clock face. So let's have a go. So we look at the big hand, it's on the 6, so we know it's half past. We now need to look at the hour hand, and as you can see, it's past halfway past the 9. It's in between the 9 and the 10. But it's past the night, so it is half past nine. Let's take another look. We look at the big hand, it's on the six, so we know it's half past. We now need to look at the hour hand, and it's past the twelve, so the time is half past twelve. Right, and the last one we're going to look at is quarter two. When the big hand moves from the twelve to the nine, it is quarter two the hour. This is because the big hand only has a quarter of the clock face to move to to get to the next o'clock. So you can see the white part, we've got one more quarter two to go. So let's take a look. We look at the big hand, it's on the nine. We know it's quarter two. And now we need to look at the little hour hand. It's going two towards the three. So the time is quarter two three. So let's take another look. So let's look at the big hand. We know it's on the nine, so it's quarter two. We now need to look at the hour hand, the small hand. It's going towards the six, so we know it is quarter two, six. So thank you for listening, and I hope you've learned something about telling the time. Thank you. Bye.